Hi, my name's Danny, uh, and I work for a company called Weblinks Limited. Now, we're launching a series of tutorial videos. Um, the first one is going to be about WordPress. Now, what we've found ha is that people have come across quite a few issues when trying to install WordPress. So, what we wanted to do is launch a tutorial video on just exactly how to do it. Now, the first thing that you're going to need are two pieces of software. Uh, so, if you just go on to Google and you type in FileZilla. Now, FileZilla is it's a free open source piece of software, and what it does, it allows you to upload files up onto your host or what will be your URL or your website. Now, just go on and download that by clicking on the download and download from a mirror, and you should come up eventually with this once you just run and install the software it's it's perfectly safe and then we've got that if you launch that that's what FileZilla looks like now we'll come back to that in a minute because the next piece of software that we're going to be using is called Notepad++ same thing again first one that will come up in Google just click onto that and you'll come onto the, the Notepad++ home site where you just download their version of it and that will leave you something once installed that looks like that. Now the reason we use Notepad is because it's easier when you if you don't have a, a piece of software like Dreamweaver and then it's easier just to alter little pieces of code and you are going to need this when we, upstall it, when we upload the database. Right, the next thing that you're going to need is the actual installation information from WordPress. So we go along to WordPress and we're going for WordPress.org. Now there is WordPress.com but that's what we want to stay away for. WordPress.com is for blogs are hosted by WordPress themselves and you don't really want to do that because that's just developing their websites and it's making them stronger. What you want to do is download your own copy, it's more customizable and it's a lot easier to be able to get uh, your stuff through and heard. Now we'll go to WordPress.org, we'll look for the new version which is now 3.3.1, download that, save file, Now the best way that I do this, uh, and I find it easier for me to remember, is if I have a new file and I call it WordPress 3.3.1. Now this file I'm then going to put into that file. Now we we need to unpack this file. Now I'm going to be doing it with a piece of software called WinRAR, which is free on trial versions. Or oh, there is plenty of unpacking software out there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to extract that file here. <coughs> Let's take a couple of moments while it ups extracts. Right, the one that's extracted, we've got the WordPress files there, everything's in there that we're going to be using. So you can actually go ahead and delete that copy of it. Right, we'll put that to one side for now. And the next thing we're going to need is your URL that you've bought. Um, and these are readily available. Uh, if, you, if you look on like 123reg.com, uh, GoDaddy, there's plenty of places where you can actually get URLs. Uh, there are a range of price depending on what level of domain you want from .com, .co.uk, .biz. Um, now, now for what we're doing, we're just installing a blog directly onto a URL. So when you've bought this, you'll get sent a selection of details that um, will have your cPanel. With cPanel is very important because that's where we're going to create the database and it'll also have your FTP details. Now your FTP details can either start with an IP address or it can be the actual URL. Like for example, the one we're going to set up on today is called video.weblinks.ltd.uk. Now I'm going to use the the IP address for FileZilla. So I've opened FileZilla, I'm going to put my IP into there I'm going to put my username. Remember, you do get this from your host when you sign up for your URL and your hosting package. So I'll put that in there. Put in the password and connect. Now, 
most of the time you'll be presented with a screen like this. And now the area that we're looking to go into on here is called a public underscore HTML. So we're going to go into there and sometimes when you go in you'll have a default landing page um, that's been set up by your host company until you've actually put your own uh, website on there. And then on this left hand side there's two boxes that's going to be important to you right now. Now this is the top one where we're actually going to locate the file that we put. Now the file that I downloaded was downloaded to my desktop. So I'm going to click on desktop and as you can see it's already in there. If the file was in my computer I'd actually click on my computer or wherever it was located. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to go into the WordPress 3.3.1 the file I downloaded. That's a WordPress file I extracted and that's all the contents. Now all this contents on here needs to be uploaded onto this section so I'm going to go ahead and press Control and A right click and then I'm going to upload onto that directory now depending on your internet connection speed this can take a few minutes so what I'm going to do in the meantime is set up the database within my control panel so I'm just going to move this to one side now for the second set of details that you'll have through from your host is cPanel now for the cPanel address Ours is again a lot of a lot of hosts and servers do differ, but you will come across a lot that look like this. But it says it's untrusted, but obviously I know where it's coming from, so that's fine. I'll add an exception to that. Now it's asking me now for a username. Again, these will have been supplied to you by your hosting company. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those details in there. Just like that. Now this is taking me through to uh, my cPanel screen. Now it's the first time I've using one of this, one like this, because it's on um, it's on our server. So, but no, I'm fine. I know how to use it. It's not a problem. Now with this screen, I'll just enlarge it. If you scroll down, you are looking for the database section. Now you're looking for this because WordPress runs on a database and without the database installed um, it won't pick it up and you can't read it. So it's really really important that when you get sent the details save them to one side and make sure you know where your cPanel details and password are. Right now we're going to go ahead and use the database wizard purely because it is the easiest way to do it and it makes sure you don't miss any settings. Now I'm going to create a new database and I'm going to call this one admin. Now once I've created a database, I need to create a username on it. Now WordPress needs this to be able to install its files and it's to know where it's coming from. So I'm going to call this user. And I'm going to create a password. I'm going to create a user. Uh, it looks like I've already used that one again. So. I used it on a previous test. So my username, I'm going to call it Danny. I'm going to put my password in. Right, now I've created that database and with the username of this time it's Danny12. This is very important. You need to set all privileges on the account. Now access for WordPress it's most it has to have everything to be able to work properly so I just go ahead tick on all privileges and click on next step and that's it that's complete now we're just waiting for the WordPress to upload which just still got a little bit of a way to go now we've got 63 files we're nearly there right we're back into FileZilla again now right now if you watch what I'm going to do now this is very important I'm going to go, this is the files on my computer where I took the WordPress from, so I'm going to go back up I'm going to go to my desktop where I know where everything is. Now on the right hand side, on the top level is your root domain, so you see where it says I'm in public F HTML, I'm in public HTML, so that's right, and I've got my WordPress install in there. Now we're, we're going to look down and we're looking for a file called WP config sample. Now this is a sample file that WordPress gives you so you know which one to change. WordPress won't actually run on the WP config sample file. So what we need to do is right click 
you click on rename and we just need to remove the sample part out of it just like that click and that's done now this now this is my desktop now what I need to do is I need to take that file and send it to my desktop because this is the file that we're going to alter with our database username and password so I right click and download we'll just get rid of that for now now that config file has now appeared up onto my desktop so taking the um, the username username and the database name that I'm going to install into here now this is why we've installed um, notepad plus plus so I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to edit with notepad plus plus and then what you'll see what you'll see coming across there is then the config file and you see WordPress makes it really really simple for you it tell you where to put your database name where to put your username and where to put your password now when you're looking at this make sure you've got it the right way around the database name is video web underscore admin so I'm going to take that and copy that just so I don't make any mistakes and I'm going to put that into my notepad plus plus where it says database name just like that now the username again Let's copy it just to make sure we got it the right way around. Again, always check to make sure you've got these two the right way around. Because if you've got the username in the database name and vice versa, it really, it really, really won't work. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that into there like that. And then I'm going to put my password into that. And then I'm going to save the file. Right, now what I need to do is bring FileZilla back up again. I'll minimize it just so we can see what's going on. We don't need that config file now. If you're happy that you've got everything right on there, then you've got no problems whatsoever. Right, so now this is my desktop. Remember I've got there by clicking desktop. And that's a config file that I want to put back now because I've edited it into this side. So I'm going to click on that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to upload it straight to it. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it, which I do because it's got all my new details on. And now that should be in there. Now, if you bring the internet back up and the URL that you've got, if you remember I mentioned earlier that ours is going to be video.weblinks.limited.uk. So I'm going to put that into the URL search bar and it's going to bring up my WordPress installation. Now this says to me that I've got my database correct and WordPress is installing properly and it's not going to come across fine. So all I need to do now, I'm going to call this Weblinks Video. You can name this out whatever you want, as can you put the username and the password, but for now we're going to leave that as admin and I'm going to put a password in. And then I'm going to put my email address and what will this will do, it will email you to tell you that you've got a new WordPress site set up and that everything's running fine. Now this section here is, we're going to be covering this in some more tutorials, but this is to allow your site to be seen by search engines like Google, Bing, uh, Technorati and all the other ones. Now I'm going to be developing this blog. So what I'll do, I want to untick that, and by unticking that, that adds a nofollow index to the top of my pages, which tells Google that I don't want my site spidered just yet. And when I finished updating it, what I'll do is untick it so it allows that to be able to search, and all is good. Click on install, login. It is worthwhile sometimes writing down your username and password as you can forget. You can always reset it at any time, but I always find it better just to write it down. And that's it. We're into WordPress. Now this is the absolute basic settings of WordPress. Um, just look in here, I'll well, just visit site and I'll show you that it's a standard WordPress installation blog. What you will notice is all the sections on the left hand side varying from pages to posts, um, your appearance, um, your categories 
um, into the settings we've got uh, your permalink structure. Now we are going to be co covering all of these in later videos, uh, but for now, that's it. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks and goodbye.